The sea begins at the land's edge. Where the sea begins is the sea level, and there is concern that sea levels are rising. gathered on the platform at the bottom of the cliff face in Noosa National Park, about halfway down the east coast of Australia. The wave cut notch behind us, it is a relic from a time of higher sea levels. At the time of the highest astronomical tide, the waves didn't reach the cliff face, not anywhere near it. The sea was a long way out. I was also on the platform a year earlier, in 2020, on the 10th of February, for the highest astronomical tide. The waves didn't reach to the wave cut notch at the bottom of the cliff face that is a relic from a time of higher sea levels. The year of Cyclone Seth, that was another story. On the morning of the highest astronomical tide in 2022, Huge swells smashed the headland. Was this the year I was going to be washed away? Washed from the platform at the moment of the very highest tide? I hesitated. I wasn't going around to stand on that platform and risk being washed away. But the guy in the white t-shirt, Jared, he said he would wander around to the platform to be there for the high tide. An experienced surfer and rock hopper, he volunteered to stand at the bottom of the cliff face for the moment of the highest tide. If sea levels were as high now as they were 120,000 years ago, when the wave cut notch at the bottom of the cliff face was formed, then at this moment of the highest astronomical tide at the platform in 2022, then Jared, he should have been washed away. The waves should have reached all the way to the bottom of the cliff face where Jared was standing, even a bit higher. There is no evidence of sea level rise, only evidence of sea level 4 in Noosa National Park, which is halfway down the east coast of Australia. The sea begins at the land's edge. Where the sea begins is the sea level, and there is concern that sea levels are rising. This animation from 200 metres altitude shows Noosa. Credit Coastal Risk Australia. They predict a 0.84 metre sea level rise by 2100. So many houses in Noosa would be underwater. Imagine if sea levels rose to 3 metres. This is where Jared was standing during the highest astronomical tide and he didn't get washed away. And it's going to be a high tide again this morning. I'm waiting for Jared. He should be here soon. The wave cut notch of the boiling pot is slightly higher than the wave cut notch of the platform. Remembering the highest astronomical tide, we would have got wet. But even on that day with the big swell, the waves didn't quite make it to the cut above the boiling pot. It's a big tide today, two metres. Yeah. Well, on, on the first or the second it was 2.4. Still not touching us. Do you feel safe? I feel safe. <laughs> I feel safe. Is that because you're with me or? Because I'm with you. Because we're above the high tide. Because we're above the high tide. <laughs> What's a wave cut? Oh, a wave cut is when you've had a, a stability, or when the water has been sitting at a certain level for a period of time, it has eroded stone to a point where you get like 
a wave cut. And that seems to be what we've got on this rock in, at Noosa. We've got a wave cut where the tide has sat ebbing constantly. Not saying that we've had a you know, huge storm come through here or a cyclone of some sort and taken anything out. There is a clear cut within a platform. So a cut within a platform that would have been formed must, be, must have been when sea levels were higher because the waves don't get that high anymore, do they? Well, not, not, not in my lifetime. Wave cut notches are formed by the cutting action of waves in the intertidal zone. Even on the highest tides, even on the highest tides with Cyclone Seth, the waves don't quite reach the notch above boiling pot. Not anymore. Not in modern times. You know, the average person believes that sea levels are the highest they've ever been. That's, that's sort of the impression you get from the nightly news, don't you? rocks and landscapes of the Sunshine Coast. The coastline is not static. There have been fluctuations in sea level over the millennia. In cold periods, the polar ice caps expand. Sea levels at Noosa, well, they have been up to 150 metres lower. 120,000 years ago, before the last ice age, the sea level was one to three metres higher. The sea begins at the land's edge. Where the sea begins is the sea level and there is concern that sea levels are rising. There is no evidence of long-term sea level rise, only evidence of sea level four in Noosa National Park, halfway down the east coast of Australia. No one was washed away in the making of this film. 